Okay, we're working on the pins gower again today, and today's project is splitting the axle to replace the seal and the differential. Let me show you what we got going on over here. Uh, not too bad so far. Uh, we got the tire off, we've removed the shock, and we've removed the limit strap and the springs. I'm just working on this brake line fitting here in the back. It was frozen. In order to get it undone, I had to use a propane torch and some PB blaster and a lot of patience to get that uh, loose so I wouldn't break the fitting. Uh, once we get that out, we're going to start splitting the axle. And then that seal you see in the back is what we're going to replace. I'm going to show you. You can see a little bit of diff fluid leaking out of there. That's the problem I have right now. And we're going to get that fixed. Okay, we're ready to split the axle. Uh, we're going to reuse the bolts that were used for the limit strap and shock absorber. And then we made these uh, custom axle splitter tools. Found some plans online at the forum, and uh, we'll see how these work. If they don't, we may end up just using a hydraulic jack to help press this apart. And we got this chisel or wedge that we're going to use to uh, help split the axle as well. Okay, well, as we started to remove the axle, um, it started bending the pipe, so we're gonna have to reinforce this and make some new, uh, well, some new pieces of pipe here. So let's do that real quick. Couple things to remember. You gotta remove these bolts. There's a small bolt in here you have to remove. And you also need to remove this bolt, which I have forgotten to do. And that is why the axle hasn't moved at all in the last two hours. I've just bent the tool that I made to uh, do this. So we're gonna remove this bolt. Uh, it's the centering bolt. What it does is it centers this axle with this part of the axle, which makes sense. And hopefully once we get that out, this will come off a lot smoother and that we shouldn't have any more problems with it. All right, let's get this seal removed. All right, so here is the boot seal ring. Here's the rubber seal I'm trying to remove, and it is a bear to get out. Here's the new seal I'm trying to put in. Um, we're gonna try to heat this up and then see if we can pry this out. Maybe it'll loosen up the adhesive that's in there. But it is, it's in there. You can tell I've tried cutting it out and uh, haven't gotten very far. All sealed up and ready to go on. Let's see if we can make this work. All right, we just filled it with gear oil and it's full. So far, no leaks. Okay, the boot. A couple things about putting the boot back on. Uh, this is a solid boot and you want the seam to be parallel uh, with the axle. So when the axle flexes up and down, it doesn't stress the seam too much. If the seam's vertical like this, it can cause some problems for you and wear out the boot faster. You also want these brackets to be on top of the seam to give it strength and uh, with the bolts facing down so you can actually uh, tighten it once it's on there. All right, let's get the boot on. All right, now that the boot's in place, we're gonna clean up the other axle half and uh, get it ready to be put back on the truck. Okay, we finished painting. Now the axle's ready to go back 
uh, on the truck. So ratchet straps on both sides and we'll see if we can get some even pressure and slowly ease this thing back into place. Okay, things are looking pretty good. Why don't you come down and take a look and see how we did. Uh, I feel like we did, made some good progress today. So this looks way better than it did when we started and there's no leaks, that's the important thing. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, we gotta bleed the brake still, get the tire back on and just make sure everything's torqued to spec. But other than that, it's ready to go. So I hope that video helped you out and uh, appreciate everybody watching. So we'll see you on the next one. Whew, I got that on film. <laughs>